Hey guys, what is up? Here's an episode kind of 2.5 for you. I realized I was re-importing stuff incorrectly into the PSP asset file, and I wanted to just make an in-between of episode 2 and 3 file to show you guys the new files I found and how to import them correctly. So first of all, you need to have your PSP asset file, which you can see I modified at 1236. It's 1238 right now. You want to set up a folder for just your modified stuff, but it has to keep the same file tree structure. So you need to have at least one file from the actual base file, and then you can have your stuff that you modify. Now in this file, I found a whole bunch of new stuff. This vehicle.lst doesn't seem to do anything. I think it's more pertaining to the source code of the game or like some files for the devs to look at, just to know or have some tool that they loaded up and they could see the vehicle data. But what you want to actually modify is custom vehicle data here. Scroll down to your Jetta folder or whatever car you're modifying. Modify this MC custom. Open this up and you can see there's a whole bunch of data in here. But that's not the only file you want to modify. There's also, for each car, about 10 files for each car. Now every single one of these is identical now because I modified the first one and then notice that I could just copy and paste. There are things in here like camber, tire offset, ride height, tire width, wheel size, which you can tell I made it ridiculous so we know if it works. I changed the rim ID so we'll see if it's a Volkswagen wheel anymore. Um, it didn't change much else. I made just things a little bit ridiculous and I set things like a Neon should flash now uh, by default as soon as the car loads up. And then I made it the same across all 10 files. Now here's how you re-import stuff. So you need to go to your BMS. You need to use import two. You need to select your BMS. You need to select your PSP asset file. And then you need to select a file on the root directory of the initial file you extracted. So for me, I just put this asset base here and click save. And then it's just going to re-import stuff real quick. It's going to be really fast because there's not much there. Then you want to use your UMD and you want to put your PSP asset over back into here. Go to file, save as, and create your CSO. So I've already gone in. I've already done all that. You want to open up your emulator. And we can then open up the test ISO, which eventually I'll make a new icon so we don't have to keep opening it that way. I deleted my game save, so this will be a fresh, fresh start to see the car exactly as it should be right from the beginning. So we're going to create a profile. Let's call it one again. It's whatever. Save is complete. The mouse off the screen. That annoys me. We're gonna go purchase my first vehicle and we're gonna see if the Jetta looks any different and if the specs are any different. So far I have not figured out anything pertaining to actual car speed. I don't know where that is, but here's the Jetta. We did it, boys. We got our monster Jetta on very thin wheels. We did it. Modifying Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition for PSP is here. We got the carbon fiber hood by default. We got them big ghetto boy wheels. Like, look at this thing. The neons are on by default. Modding Midnight Club is here. Let's freaking go. Let's see what this thing drives like because it's got to be hilarious. Oh, this is going to be freaking great. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, I can't wait. The mouse on the screen is bothering me. Oh my god, it looks so stupid. Oh god, it drives like absolute dog water. Oh no. Man, we're going to have so much fun with this now. I kind of wonder if it's faster than it should be. The reflections in the windows should be different too, but I can't tell honestly. But now we just need to go in and figure out which specific file I edited. I can't wait to edit one of the trucks because I'm going to make a truck a lowrider. It does seem faster, though. I don't think I was hitting 150 here before. Oh, my God. 
I'm surprised I haven't rolled. Look at this thing. This is ridiculous, man. We have Midnight Club hacking. I can't believe it. I'm so glad I was successful. This makes my night. I can go to bed now. I wanted to do something to Midnight Club before I went to bed. That was what my goal was tonight. Look at that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I want to do one more thing before I go to bed. I want to slam it on its nuts and see if Camber makes a visual difference. I want to know. I got to know if it's going to make a visual difference. So we're going to close the game real quick, and I'm going to modify the files again uh, and see if there is a visual difference with Camber, because I want to know. I need to know. All right, are you all ready for this? PPSSPP. Let's open up the test CSO and see what happens. I hope I can do an intro delete. Granted, you can already hit the A button and it bypasses all this, so I'm not that worried about it. I didn't buy the car, so we're going to go career. We're going to go... Oh, I did buy the car. Oh, it detects that I have nitrous. Go back to garage. I can already tell the car is lower. But it's going to be easier to look at the car in the garage. Oh, no, it kept its 20-inch wheels. Uh, Probably because of me saving it that way. If we go buy a vehicle, it might look different. We're going to look at the Eclipse real quick. Look at the Jetta. No, it's going to load mine. I need to delete my game save real quick. All right, we're back. I think I opened the right one. No data. Good. Create. Won it. New data. Rear. Purchase a vehicle. All right, let's see if... Let's see what changed. I'll know if... If nothing changes, I know what I have to modify. But I'm pretty sure I know it's going to change. Ooh. <gasps> Yo! Camber does something! Camber does something! <gasps> no way! No way! Midnight Club devs! And that vinyl looks sick! No way! Midnight Club hacking is off the chain. Different exhaust, different taillights, different license plate, a vinyl stock with flashing lights. Uh, what is that? Um, uh, what are those? Uh, Cadillac wheels. Yo, okay, I'm I I'm excited. I mean, granted, you can change the color. It's also um, chrome paint now. I like the green, honestly. The green looks sick. I want to know how this is going to drive. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be weird. All right, we're doing a race. I wonder if the exhaust sound, if I have a way to change exhaust sound. I don't know. Oh, it drives like hot garbage. Is there not a way for me to change camera view? I can look back. Can't change camera view. Oh, God. Infinite speed hack. Okay. Okay, so chrome wheels don't, or the cambered wheels don't seem to impact driving. So we can do some really crappy mods there. We could make a hovercraft. I can't tell how low the car is. Definitely need to work on some fitment. Can't change camera view. I swear you used to be able to. You cannot change camera view. But yeah. Midnight Club Hacking is here, boys and girls.
Why is Y on my Xbox controller? So weird. Look at that. That looks absolutely hideous. That looks like I broke something. Oh my god. Midnight Club hacking, boys and girls. Midnight Club hacking. It's here. I want to try to... Since we're playing on emulator... I want to try to adjust actual graphic quality. Because realistically, this looks like an N64. But I cannot wait. If you know somebody that wants to help out with this project... I would love to see how far we can push this. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 2.5. Maybe I'll make it episode 3. It's 10 minutes long. Uh, peace out.